What's going on guys? This is Spock and welcome back to my channel. So Modern Warfare 3 is out. It just came out the other day and as most of you guys know the Predator missile is back. So I thought I would do a tutorial. It's a Sony Vegas tutorial and I'm going to teach you how to do this really cool little effect. Um, it's kind of a, like a little editing effect um, in Sony Vegas with the Predator missile. So the idea with this is uh, uh, we're going to try to make it look like you're actually using the Predator missile laptop or the computer uh, to actually control the uh, incoming Predator missile. So here's what the uh, original video looks like, uh, unedited. This is what it looks like. Um, and then right here is the uh, actually edited version. And as you can see, I'm actually using the laptop. It looks like the laptop screen has the Predator missile and you're controlling it with the computer. So if you guys want to learn how to do that, I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, so the first thing you want to do is go over here to file and import the clip that you want to use. Uh, I don't know what that was, but let's do this again. Okay, import and go to import media. Um, and then we'll pull up the click, uh, the clip. So it is called Pred. This is the clip we're going to use here. And so there it is. So let's go ahead and drag it down here to the timeline. Uh, now we want to isolate the clip uh, that we want to use. Uh, so we're going to cut off the beginning and the end of this. Uh, my computer is kind of slow. You can see right here that it's it's thinking. It takes a while to think because my computer is slow, but uh, we're going to isolate the clip here. Uh, I think the uh, Predator missile starts right here. Okay, come on computer. Alright, so this is pretty much where it starts here. So we're going to use, uh, we're going to press S on the keyboard and what that's going to do is you can see here it split the event here uh, and then we're going to cut off the beginning of it. I right clicked and uh, pressed cut. Um, and then we're going to go and cut off the end of it as well. Uh, again, my computer's being slow. It, it usually doesn't take this long, um, but I think with the uh, program that I'm using to record this, uh, it's it's kind of slowing my computer down a little bit, but that's okay. We'll get this done. Uh, I think that's about where it's at, maybe. Uh see here. Uh, yeah, there it is. So that's where I got the double kill. Um, and then we'll split it again. Like I, like I said before, I pressed S to split it. And then we'll go over here to the end and right click and use cut. And so that's the, uh, that's the, uh, the uh, video where I got the Predator missile. So next step we're going to do is I'm scrolling up on the uh, on the mouse, the mouse ball to to uh, get this uh, uh, bigger, and then we're going to find where the Predator missile begins. The exact spot we want to find here is where we pull out the laptop, and the laptop is in the open position as far as it can go. Um, obviously, you could uh, tweak this to make it your uh, how you want it, you know, get your own desired effect. I like to do it right here, right where it starts to get a little dark. So we're going to do it right here and we're going to press S to split it. And then up here in the right hand corner, you'll see a uh, looks like a disc and it says save a snapshot. And what this is going to do is it's going to save a picture of what you see in the preview. So you click that and press save and what that's going to do is going to put it over here in your project media. It's going to put a copy um, of this image in the corner over here in the project media. So we're going to leave that alone for now um, but we will use it here in a moment. Uh, the next step is we're going to find the end of the Predator missile where the uh, Predator missile ends. Uh, same, same concept we're going to wait except for we're going to do it right before uh, the laptop closes. So again, my computer's being slow, but we'll find it. Uh, and it looks like, I like to cut this part out. Um, so we're gonna back up a little bit to before this stuff pops up. 
And that seems good right there. Oh, you know what? Actually, um, like I said, um, we're going to do it where the laptop closes. Um, so let's do it right there. That's about in the open position, so we'll do it there. Uh, and then I pressed S to split it as well. And then we're going to drag all this stuff in the middle down below and uh, we're going to go right here and we're going to cut off uh, part of this video um, where the predator missile starts um, and we're going to make it start right when the predator missile starts is when we're going to want to we're going to cut it off so right about there so we're going to press S again split it and cut off the beginning of this video. And then same with the end. There's part of the end that we're not going to want. So we're going to cut it off right there. Uh, once we do that, we want to drag this over, line it up with this, drag this over and line it up with this. So now that we have that, we want to grab this image that we the snapshot that we took and we're going to drag this onto the timeline like this uh, and then we're going to want to fit it in this middle piece here drag it over and it fits like so so now we have an image right here it's basically a still shot this entire section here is just a still shot uh, so now we're going to go over here to this little button that says event pan crop and we're going to press that um, and then I like to zoom in as far as I can here. All we need right here is just a picture of the computer screen, so we're going to zoom in as much as we can. Uh, then we're going to click this little button here that says Mask. We're going to click that, and then we're going to make sure that this Anchor Creation tool is selected. And we're just going to outline the screen here. Uh, this part, I might lose you if you're not familiar with um, uh, with Sony Vegas I might lose you here but uh, if you have any questions you can always leave them in the comment below and uh, I'm not really taking my time you might want to take your time on this but uh, this is just for uh, for uh, timing purposes we're gonna we're gonna do it kinda quickly here uh, it doesn't really matter you get the concept we're just outlining uh, the screen here um, and then as you can see over here in the preview section, the only thing left here is the screen, the, the inside. So we don't want that. We want the we want the outside. So we go over here to mode, and instead of positive, we're going to choose negative. And as you can see over here, it uh, took the middle part of the computer screen away. Um, and then now we could leave it like this if we want. It, the uh, this will look kind of neat, but I like to take it one step further and uh, go to this part of the video down here below choose event pan crop and uh, this time we're going to zoom out and we're going to stretch this out a little bit make the video a little smaller um, as soon as it pops up there it is um, and then we can even turn it a little bit to make it fit a little bit better Let's zoom it back in uh, like so. Fit it in there just like you want it to. This part is just uh, tweaking. Uh, get the desired effect that you want. Um, obviously that's completely up to you how you want it to look. Uh, but that looks good right there. Um, so let's take it through uh, frame by frame here. As you can see, the computer's opening. We got that on the screen. Predator missile comes in. And so that's pretty much how we want it to look. That looks pretty good. Um, obviously, you're going to want to tweak this, like I said, make it make it your own desired effect. Um, but that's the idea there. Uh, so once you're ready, um, go ahead and render it. If you don't know how to render, you just want to drag that over here. Make sure you have all of it selected. And choose Render As. And name it whatever you want. 
and press save and it'll start rendering. Uh, one thing I want to tell you guys if you have any sort of um, color correction that you want to add to the video you want to do that before you start editing it just makes things a lot easier um, I might do a tutorial on later uh, on how to do color correction and all that stuff um, but if you uh, if you like the tutorial uh, it's always appreciated if you leave a thumbs up and uh, and I appreciate that uh, thanks for watching my video and if you want to see the full outcome of this edit um, here it is at the end of the video I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the uh, the unedited or the edited uh, outcome of this video so thanks again for watching and here it is take care guys UAV recon standing by UAV online Friendly predator missile inbound Oh, boy. Friendly Cobra inbound.